Well, uh, Hex, this is uh, honored to be here this morning. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy day to basically come to Angel Beat and uh, come see Hexus. You've seen a lot of security technologies this morning. A lot of what uh, people are trying to do is one, identify what the threat is, where it's at, and basically how to remediate that. What I'd like to take you through a little bit this morning for a couple minutes, I've got about uh, 15 minutes and I'll try to breeze through these slides because you're going to get a little bit of death by PowerPoint this morning, and this afternoon. But uh, the automation of it, it's one thing to identify, but it's a whole nother world to try to actually, at machine speeds, remove the malware. Hawkeye G is our uh, automated tool for this. It's an inline appliance. We have both host sensors and uh, dissolvable sensors. We uh, believe that uh, the persistence of these threats is, is so severe today in this market that uh, you just can't do a snapshot in time, identify something that was out there, and not go back to it and get into the uh, resolution for it. Uh, the three things we're going to cover this morning is uh, the automation, if it's necessary. Uh, is it even possible? Uh, and then how would you implement this? Who we are. Uh, we're cyber experts uh, using techniques that basically provide better defensive hackers. Our parent company is a company called KYW Corporation. Uh, a company, another company you probably haven't heard of uh, before this morning. Uh, in a nutshell, we, uh, KYW, covers a lot of agencies for the federal government. And what I mean by agencies, uh, we run the SOC for the NSA, as an example, and many other uh, uh, covert and uh, known agencies out there. We've taken a lot of the learnings from that and we've developed a commercially product called Hawkeye G for the automation of that uh, malware removal. Some of the things that uh, we work with the NSA, both offensive and defensive uh, capabilities in, in the cyber world. And that uh, really was what rolled into Hawkeye G. You've seen a lot of press. Uh, the most recent one was probably uh, PF Chang's getting uh, hacked. Uh, some of that information going out of their network in terms of customer information. Uh, the big one last uh, year was uh, Target. Who's in IT security? If you wouldn't mind raising your hand. Okay, you guys are raising them this, this high. I can't quite see them. Okay, so when you're in IT security, uh, you've probably seen the Verizon Threat Report 2013. Uh, typically what you're reading in that report comes out to 243 days before the uh, infiltration is basically removed out of the network. 243 days. Even if you're not a hacker, think about that. If you were behind someone's firewall and you sat in their network somewhere on a machine, on a server or so forth, what could you do in 243 days? Right? That, that says it all right there. What could you do in eight days? The point I'm trying to make here is that we have to get this to machine speeds. We have to identify it, we have to engage with it, and then we have to get out there and remove it. We can't wait 243 days. We can't wait eight days. We've got to get to it in seconds, if not minutes. The bottom line is the uh, industry, the security industry, ne needs to do a better job for you guys to make your job a little bit easier to keep, if you're a publicly traded company, your shareholder value high. Target took a, a major hit after uh, they lost a lot of uh, if you will, credit card data from their customers last fall. All right, this picture, uh, I like the picture of the previous presenter, The Onion, because I kind of look at that as it's a layered approach, I think of it as. Uh, this is basically represents what the security process is in trying to find the malware. Sure, that's a production line, but it's a very manual effort. Basically, you got a SOC monitor, SIM, event console, you're performing manual uh, triage and so forth trying to get to it. Uh, from the SANS report, about 54% using a workflow that is 90% manual, going back to that picture I just showed. I found it, now I have to do three to five hours of research to basically even get to it. Uh, some of the remediation, 16% of the remediation takes more than eight hours. How many hours is it back there? How much information from that piece of malware, let's say the Zeus, uh, a variant of the Zeus that went out and then it's trying to send data outside of your network. Uh, there's a couple guys here for, uh, from a large uh, health care provider. Think of their patient records. Think of the social security numbers. Think about even credit card numbers from any of your organizations leaving your network, what that's going to do to your business. It doesn't matter if you're in, in uh, government in terms of a state, local education type of a, a business or a, a function, it's still going to impact you. 
uh, you know, what doesn't work within security automation? Well, adding editing firewall rules. You have to do that, but when you add and edit a firewall rule, typically, let's say we want to do that today's Friday. We're going to have to wait till maybe Tuesday to have our change control meeting so we can implement next Thursday. Bam, that's almost another week. This is a typical process within the organization. Patching. Patching works, but does it work at the network level? Yes and no. Not when it comes to uh, viruses. Not when it comes to anomalous logins. It's, it's taking too long, my point is. What does work? Automation of the data investigation pipeline, removal of the malware from the host, and network segmentation. We want to nail basically that low level stuff and have you basically get away from the patch management piece and work on really the interesting pieces when it comes to malware. Uh, definition of malware removal, how we define it. It's not just identifying and creating a trouble ticket and having it go to your incident response people. That's great, but how long does that take? Hey, Fred's out to lunch, he comes back at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock this afternoon, and he's going to try to get to it. How many hours was that? We want to basically kill process on the uh, bottom bullets here, quarantine files, removing persistent threats. So the auto registry, remove that. Uh, we can rename it, we can uh, change the process. If something's trying to call out to a, uh, let's say a known bad IP address, let's put that into a bot trap. Let's basically signal out to that known IP address. Let's see what it's basically asking for. We're not sending anything. And if it looks okay, then we can allow it go through like a firewall rule. And if it doesn't, we're certainly going to basically disable that process. Implementing automation seamlessly. Seamlessly, easier for me to say. Uh, typically, I'm a little nervous when I have to go into a new process, right? Uh, I fear change. But we want to automate as much as this is possible. So what we've done is made it a machine-guided process for a lot of our customers, uh, that's just their standard practice. As I get used to some of the automation with Hawk IG, I can basically turn that on. I don't have to hit yes, it's okay, yes, it's okay, yes, it's okay. Some of the benefits, really, it's return on investment. Uh, I don't have to hire additional IR people. I can focus on uh, more of the interesting type of uh, the malware that's out there versus some of the low-level stuff that keeps uh, producing itself. It's one thing. Everyone can identify malware. That's, that's nothing that's new. Uh, we have great threat feeds based on our relationship with the federal government and so forth, some of the best in the world, but we also can import other uh, threat feeds, which is fantastic. Uh, that's going to basically give you a better chance of reducing a lot of the false positives, but at the same time, let's automate this as quickly as we can. Uh, the two main products that uh, Hexus Cyber has is Hawkeye G, which is the active defense grid that I'm talking about. And then we also have uh, Hawkeye AP, which is our analytics platform. Uh, this is basic, basically a, uh, a columnar data warehouse logging all of, your, uh, all of your security feeds from all the different products you have out there. Getting a little bit more uh, back into Hawkeye G in terms of the detection, engage, and remove. Uh, basically patented uh, data warehouse that we took from uh, Hawkeye AP. Anyone using SenseAge out there? And I know the uh, guys at uh, Providence are, for example. Uh, we acquired that technology about a year and a half ago, and that's the part of the baseline of Hawkeye G. We renamed it as well. Uh, one of our customers, for example, I mentioned to someone this morning, a uh, very large chip manufacturer that uh, is part here, part Northern California. They're basically logging seven and a half billion with a B events per day in a columnar data warehouse. It's a lot. So it shows some of its robustness, and that's basically what we built into Hawkeye G as well. It's a quick case study, and I'm running out of time already. It uh, goes by so fast. Uh, 34 seconds. Anomalous at the bottom, anomalous tra uh, traffic was identified, traced, and a process killed. We found a, plug it in Hawkeye G, we found a variant of the Zeus virus. And it was trying to make a call out to an IP address. We were able to identify this in 34 seconds and basically kill that process and then go remove it. Now you have to, for full removal, you have to typically reboot the machine, but we can remove basically its capabilities so it's, uh, it can't make that call out. Uh, and this is a, uh, a financial services uh, organization in New York City within 34 seconds. That's the type of machine speeds in terms of automation we need to get to. Again, security is a layered approach. You, ha you have to have your firewalls. You have to have your antivirus and so forth. 
but this is at a network level when you're looking at not just one machine, but all the machines out there. Uh, our capabilities to uh, anomalous logins, for example, you don't want your CEO all of a sudden logging in at 11.30 in the morning or uh, noon when the uh, administrative assistant goes out to lunch and it's three days before our earnings call. That's a behavior that is basically not typical of what typically ha uh, that happens on a, on a regular basis. So we want to stop that action because we don't know if there's insider trading going on. We don't know if information's going outside the network. This behavior we have to stop, and there's no way to stop it uh, once you find out about it five hours later. In conclusion, we need to close the gap. We need to basically get to a faster speed, machine speed. I'll keep repeating that over and over. Uh, until you get there, you still have major holes in your network. Thank you.